Power Rangers is an interesting genre. And not for the fact that it's been going on for over 30 years, but it's the genre that it's under. And that is tokusatsu, a genre that involves heavily practical effects and originated back in Japan in the times of theater in the 1900s. And later on being inspired by the likes of King Kong, the 50s and beyond brought shows like Ultraman, Kamen Rider, Spider-Man, surprisingly, and of course, Super Sentai, which Power Rangers gets its footage from. And starting in 1993 with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and beyond, the show has went from a series to being in video games, Hollywood blockbusters, comic books, stage shows, and many more. And despite the Americanization of tokusatsu when it comes to showing it in America, the roots can still be felt in each fight scene, in each episode, in each season, and in the whole series. But through the years, there has been less and less Super Sentai footage seen in Power Rangers. Coming up to the latest Power Rangers season, Cosmic Fury, there will be episodes that featured a minute of Super Sentai footage. And speaking of Cosmic Fury, it's literally a hybrid mix, having American-made suits with Japanese Zord fights. But whatever comes next for Power Rangers in this upcoming reboot will not use the latest and greatest Super Sentai series. They are going to reinvent the wheel. Yep, I mean, it's not like they tried that before, right? The first movie back in 1995 gave them new suits and put the show's characters in a new universe that is more movie-like, not using the Japanese suits seen in the show, and making its own fight scenes. But of course, if you watch the movie, it still very much felt like Power Rangers and Tokusatsu as a whole, with the 1997 movie really being a Power Rangers movie. Japanese suits, monsters, weapons, and all. 20 years later, and here comes the 2017 Power Rangers movie though, with suits that look like Iron Man. The rangers aren't really using their morphers at all to transform, and only one ranger, the red one, has a weapon. Also, the zords look different from each other, and they're very machine-like, and there's no way you can make that look like a good toy. The movie just simply didn't hit the audience that it was looking for, but the TV series is also flopping too, so the whole franchise is just going downhill. So what do the bigger up companies want to do? Kobe, throw away Super Sentai. But I think there's an important question here. Is Tokusatsu important to Power Rangers? Now, I imagine you hear that and, whoa, that's a pretty weird question, Este. It's like saying, will cameras be important to the future of photography? I guess. It's also like asking if animation is important for the future of The Simpsons. I don't think so, actually, when you think about it. But hey, I asked a question on Twitter, like I always do, you can go ahead and follow me, I ask questions for videos sometimes, and I want to get your opinion on, hey, is tokusatsu really that important for the future of Power Rangers? And honestly, there is a lot to debate here. Power Rangers originated from Super Sentai and the tokusatsu genre, and a lot of people think Power Rangers still needs tokusatsu, as continuing to use tokusatsu would be honoring the roots as well as maintaining the authenticity of the series. I mean, it's been going on for over 30 years, with Super Sentai going on for even longer, with new installments showing that the unique aesthetic and storytelling techniques of Tokusatsu have a dedicated fan base worldwide. And this Tokusatsu continuity can cater to the loyal fans of the series as well as attract new ones who appreciate this genre and this style of making a show. Whoa, 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 hold on right there because there's some important Toku matters to discuss right now. Question. Are you ready to do a deep dive into the origins of kaiju greatness and tokusatsu as a whole? Well, you gotta check out this video, the sponsor to this video, the history of Ultra Q. Join Marco Satsu, Mako, Keza, Thomas Jujubi, Dawnbreaker, and myself as we sit down to explore some of the most iconic and fan favorite episodes from the show that kickstarted the entire Ultraman franchise. Ultraman is kind of like the granddad to Power Rangers, they're like the big unk. I'll actually be talking about episode 3 of Ultra Q, A Gift From Space, one of the series' most intriguing stories involving mysterious alien artifacts. Now whether you're a longtime fan of Ultraman or have seen Ultra Q before or know nothing about this show, which I don't blame you, I didn't either before I started, trust me guys, the video is a must watch. There is definitely a lot to learn there. So go check out the history of Ultra Q over on the Marco Satu channel today. It's definitely an ultra ride. That pun wasn't even that funny, I guess. Back to me! Tokusatsu as a genre is great to look at. It's great visually. It's great how they do some of the action stuff. And I love it. Guilty pleasure. Actually, full-on hey, pleasure. Yo. Got our first comment from Will here who says, Power Rangers was tokusatsu for a Western audience and the Western world loves superheroes and spandex. Like Marvel and DC. I mean, hey, 
put anybody in a Superman suit and they gonna stick their tongues out for it. I don't know. Tokusatsu will always be important to the brand and legacy of Power Rangers. Take out the Tokusatsu component and what do you have? I'm not sure. Saved by the Bell? And fellow YouTuber Kazi here says, I personally think Tokusatsu will be and always has been important for Power Rangers. If we didn't have Toku and Sentai, we would never add Power Rangers. There will all be fans of PR no matter what happens, even if the blinds between PR and Tokusatsu blend even more. Now it is true, obviously, without Super Sentai and Tokusatsu, we would never have Power Rangers, but you know, we're in America, USA, and Western companies and capitalism, money, and we need something new to do not depending on these people you know so you can see why they just want to drop it but i'm here to defend like hey toku is important tokusatsu as a genre is very cost effective recent seasons of the show like dino fury had a cost of 18.9 million dollars with 7 million of those dollars being from new zealand film grants which has kept the show filming in New Zealand instead of the expensive Hollywood streets since 2003. Compare that to other superhero shows like The Flash with a rumored $50 million budget per season or as recent as the Superman and Lois show that cost $95 million Canadian, which is about $70 million US. So what if Power Ranger has a less budget? It makes sense. You're reusing Super Sentai elements. You're reusing the suits, weapons, swords, monsters. And what do you gotta do? Build a set here or there? cast a few teens, fly them out to New Zealand, then we'll make the show tomorrow. And you know, apparently this is supposed to help make a higher quality production, you know? Better stories, better characters, you know, some special effects here or there. I, I guess there sometimes. Now with the future of no Super Sentai footage, I imagine the budget for Power Rangers will be rising, but you can still keep that pretty small if you have a Toku inspired action sequence, you know? Because the practical effects, suit design, the model work, the whole look of Tokusatsu is important to Power Rangers, and I feel like for the future it is important to kind of keep that look in a way. Not just for nostalgia, but also practicality. A lot of the new superhero movies and shows these days rely too heavily on CGI and some of it just straight up looks bad and horrible. I feel like the Tokusatsu thing is a more real world approach. As much as real world as those monsters be looking though. Just saying. One of my favorite Power Ranger episodes to show this is an RPM episode where you go behind the scenes and see how they do various stunts. It's very intricately planned and looks great on screen. But when you look at the past Power Ranger seasons, especially aesthetics in the world behind it like SBD and Mystic Force, Tokusatsu definitely allows for creativity. You can have these innovative ideas as well as unique monsters, providing a rich source of inspiration for new storylines, characters, and concepts you can't do with a CGI shark or dude with makeup on. Alex here said that Power Rangers thrives on being an adaptation of Sentai. Cosmic Fury was okay, but the Zords were still from Sentai, and Power Rangers, no matter what, will some way borrow aspects from Toku and Sentai. And honestly, I think that's a great way to go. And like I said earlier, Power Rangers has been using less and less Super Sentai footage, seeing comparisons and charts from newer seasons like Dino Fury and Cosmic Fury, and putting them up against some of the older shows, you can definitely see the difference. Checking out what Cole said now, if Hasbro or any future owners, hint hint, literally anybody, except Haim Saban, he would run it to the ground. If they know what's up, they should know that the Toku style fighting sequences are what makes it the show that it is. And if they lose that, it's just like any other action series. The 2017 movie was good, but it was missing this. And that's 100% right. The Power Rangers movie looked good. It was okay, story-wise, but it, had, it was missing that. It was missing that Toku feeling. Another comment here from Dollar Store Kotaro Scraps. I love that name. Who says that stripping away Tokusatsu would take away Power Rangers identity. Saying quote, Alas, Hasbro obviously has different visions for what they want the brand to be, which seems to be straying from that side of things. And to expand on this, the things taken from Sentai are what makes Power Rangers not just another superhero show. There's a reason people call anything with Tokusatsu elements Power Rangers. The Tokusatsu roots are ingrained into Power Rangers' own identity. And that's the best way to put it, alright? Tokusatsu is the identity of Power Rangers. When you think about it, Power Rangers is a Maritoku, which is a term used for American main Tokusatsu series. And there has been plenty of those in the 90s, right? Which all failed for the most part, okay? Big Bad Beetleborgs, they're kids. You saw Justin from Turbo, we don't mess with them kids. Okay, as Power Rangers, so. VR Troopers, it was coming to a point where they were using two different shows to adapt it. Too hard, series over, throw it away. Masked Rider, what the heck is a Furbis? Oh it's cool, 
I love the memes, the hell Furbis stuff, but it, when you think about it, why was it in the show? And you know, tattooed teenage Aiden fathers from Beverly Hills, like what was that? It's an abomination. Power Rangers had a charm, they had a team, they had a look, they had a feel. It was just like lightning in a bottle. It was so perfect at a perfect time. Rock music? I guess that added to it. That's the identity. And Tokusatsu, the fight scenes, Super Sentai, the Megazord stuff, that's a part of Power Rangers. That's what it is. And it's no wonder that there's no other company willing to make a Maritoku like that because you can't really beat Power Rangers when it comes to Tokusatsu in the US. I mean, they tried with Kamen Rider Dragonite, but that was just one season. That was great. I mean, I'll watch it one day. But before we move on, comment question of the day, what is your favorite aspect of Tokusatsu and Power Rangers? Me personally, explosions. <laughs> I love them. Leave a like to lock in your answer. 1,500 likes and I'll do more videos just like this one. Actually, no. It's 2,000 now. I'm changing the wheel. Well, you know, guys, we've talked so much about why Tokusatsu is important to Power Rangers. Let's hear the other side out, all right? Let's hear about no. Let's hear about no. Tokusatsu will not be important for the future. Starting here with SMJ, where they said, I think the format of Power Rangers is very tired. If Power Rangers any chance of coming back, it's going to have to be wholly original. Original suits, villains, plot lines, different pacing, etc. Which is true in a way, okay? Those 22 minute episodes aren't gonna cut it anymore, you know? People rocking with long form dramas that are 44 minutes long, it's either that or a reality show and Power Rangers can't be a reality show. So a 44 minute drama with action could work. Darachi here says, I think the more pressing question is, does Power Rangers even have a future outside of being a nostalgia brand? <laughs> I don't know, I hope so. And Eric Berry was agreeing, you know, it could be, could be important depending if a future project or reboot really depended on it but bro also draws some truth in which they said hasbro whoever owns the franchise in the future has 30 years of history of declining viewership sales etc to dissuade them from doing another adaptation that's true i mean hey shows viewers are going down nickelodeon started great with samurai but just doo -doo 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 kept going netflix we don't know the numbers we don't know how it's looking toy sales hasbro isn't releasing any toys that's not lighting collection they actually stopped lighting collection too, so there's no toys right now, so I guess that's also an issue. Hasbro just wants the future of Power Rangers to be a new audience. And it's as simple as that, as these modern audiences, especially younger viewers, may prefer the higher quality CGI as well as sophisticated special effects over the practical effects typical of traditional tokusatsu. Granted, the CGI, like I said, has been horrible in the last few years, but overall, advances in the technology as a whole and other digital effects offer opportunities to create more visually stunning and complex scenes that might be difficult to achieve with practical effects alone. And moving on from Tokusatsu will be very sad when it comes to Power Rangers. It'll be sad because we've had 30 years of it and now we're not gonna have much else of it. And it's gonna be rough for those first few years. And it's up to Power Rangers as a franchise to find its foot. Cause it's definitely gonna take some time. But hey, what Greg said here is true. That it would allow the Power Rangers franchise to develop its own original stories and characters without being limited to what the Japanese are doing with Super Sentai because you know they aren't helping with the creation of Power Rangers they're not helping them with the shots and whatnot they're like here here's the Rangers here's the villains do what you got to do I went out of focus and Daryl here says that you know Toku and Power Rangers are two different things one can keep going without the other which yeah it's true it's it's a thing and this definitely can lead to more creative freedom and innovation if given to the right team of people but this team would have a lot to do though trying to create a distinct identity separate from the tokusatsu origins that would make power rangers stand out in a crowded superhero market and potentially even appeal to a broader audience at all and we know power rangers has been a joke a big joke capital letters j o k joke and if power Rangers wants to be taken seriously in any regards they gotta drop tokusatsu and just do something new because right now it's a nostalgia brain and that's all it's gonna be if they don't drop it they would have to adopt a similar level of production quality and sophistication in a way with how they present the show which can definitely be challenging with the traditional tokusatsu methods which means huh you get it more cgi armored suits deeper stories hotter action blah 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 screw all that okay they're they're, they're throwing it away in the trash all to make a kids animated super superhero team and you know merchandise sales fly through the roof <laughs> it's sad you know what guys it's really sad that you can say no to tokusatsu but you know what you can't say no to it's the e-squad 
Subscribe and ring notification bell to join the E-Squad today. The greatest squad to ever be in the universe. No tokusatsu necessary. Just Power Rangers and love. E-Squad comment of the day. Leave a funny comment down below. Put the E-Squad in it and you might be in the next video. I hope so. And now we're going into a new position. The middle position. Not the middle TV show, but the middle. A little bit of both. The best of both worlds. No Hannah Montana. Do, 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 do. Come on! Starting off with K-Day here, which they said, I could see it go either way. I feel like the core parts of Toku would be important since it will always have originated from Sentai, which is Toku. But I feel like if they don't continue to adapt footage, any new tropes or trends that show up will show up. But the classics still will. Actually, K-Day, I kind of don't get what you said, but I kind of also do get it. A hybrid approach that integrates tokusatsu elements with modern CGI can cater to both traditional fans as well as new viewers. But tokusatsu elements can be used selectively in scenes where practical effects and the stunts are most effective, while more complex visual effects can be handled with CGI. And a big example of this can be seen with the Super Sentai show happening in Japan. King Oger. King of Kings! I just saw the show. Review coming soon. But they filmed basically the whole show in a dome in a green screen dome, green screen room. It's all CGI, the backgrounds and everything, but it's still Toku. They're still doing Toku stuff in the room, in the green screen room, but it's all CGI. It's all special effects. They're still keeping the suits, weapons, and monsters in a way, the same feel that Tokusatsu always has been. And I feel like Power Rangers could adapt it and make a King Oger-like show the Power Rangers way and having its Tokusatsu elements. And I feel like it can still work. This can optimize both budget and visual impact while also creating a visually rich and engaging show, offering variety and maintaining viewer interest. King Oger is definitely the best example of this. It even has CGI Megasword fights, which still look well and fit well into the whole tokusatsu thing. And in the past, Power Rangers has been seen to collab with, you know, the people who make tokusatsu in Super Sentai, whether it be Toei or Bandai, the people who make the toys, or Plex to help make new suits, new helmets, and new elements for Power Rangers that fit within the Power Rangers universe, but are still tokusatsu in its roots. So that'd be a great idea. Also some cultural exchange, you know? Have a little bit of the Japanese help co-create the show, give it the American look, and it would still work. Like how Panic said, if Ultraman has anything to take by it, having stuff like cartoon movies and comics, while important to the growth of the brand, doesn't hold much importance as the main show itself. The accessibility and production of newer Ultraman shows grows its popularity, making it relevant. And Don here gets the cherry on top, saying that, hey, Godzilla and King Kong are very much tokusatsu, just with a Hollywood budget. And that's what we gotta do, folks. Embrace tradition, but also honor the modern. The modernity, is that a word? By respecting those tokusatsu roots in the future with the live action shows or other mediums like cartoons, they can still honor the show's heritage while allowing the creative evolution to keep the content fresh and relevant for all ages of the show. Whether it's keeping a suit design or a monster and you know adding some CGI parts to the monster, CGI sets and rooms, there's a lot where you can do it where you can combine toku and CGI together and I think it would be still cool. Hype Art said, I think they should use it as a template so they don't have to pull designs from it, albeit maybe they should defo use them as a main source of inspiration as the toku side makes it what it is. That's a fact. But you know, at the end of the day, you know what it comes down to. If they're smart, yes. If they're Hasbro, no. And I know there's somebody in the comments gonna be like, hey, Este, what about season 31? Why don't we just do what we always do? Well, you're gonna end up being in the Power Rangers waiting room all day. And that's not going to be fun, all right? Let's do something new here. I'm a fan for change. I hate when something is over, but I love the thought of something new, and Power Rangers need something new and fresh, but I feel like Tokusatsu still has a place in it. But what do you guys think? Does Power Rangers really need Tokusatsu? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you everybody who participated in the Twitter question. Don't forget to follow me over there on Twitter, Dino Fuego. I'm also on Instagram, not Don Fuego. Have a good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you're at. And of course, and as always, stay awesome, everybody.